What, what the? Hi, I have a suggestion. We don't want your religion. No, no, nothing like that. Are you familiar with the term save scumming? I've done it this time. Dare I ask? What? I time traveled and I changed history. Don't you do that like all the time though? Now I normally just loop back around on my own shenanigans, but this is like stepping on a butterfly level stuff, you know what I'm saying? Did anything change? What's different? How would I know? I've lived in this timeline my entire life. True. Fair. Okay. Ooh, ooh, tell me everything that's ever happened. You want me to recite the entire history of the world to you right now? What, because you're so busy? Fine. How far back did you go? I don't know, like Bronze Age? So, early days of America. Yeah. What? Other notable world powers would have been Russia, the Ottoman Empire, France, of course. Sorry, I should have uh, asked first. Do you know history? Don't push it. So at that point, most societies are simple tribal structures. We start to see development of governments and resource management. Then there's uh, World War One and the Age of Blood. Well, now, hold on. I thought, like, we're talking BC here. Yeah. Then, as a result of the Ottoman Empire's rapid growth, we have the Thousand Year Plague. Okay, I might have messed something up. And then we have the race to find the cities of gold, and we have our first uh, flying machines. Okay, and we're still in like ancient times? No, this is like the 1400s. Well, that's all, wait, we skipped a lot then. Well, no, I, it just, nothing really happened. Nothing happened for like hundreds of years? I mean, yeah, there were castles and barbarians, lots of barbarians, but you know, yeah, boring stuff. And then there was like the Renaissance, I guess, you know, philosophy, paintings, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yo, okay, that sounds right. Then. The Second Great War. No, oh no. The French military sweeps across the world in a campaign for total domination. The Bow Mormons in denouncing Venice draw hard lines in the sand, demanding conversion or death. Intolerance and violence reach a breaking point, and all hope seems lost. Then, Egypt discovers ether and invents the land ship. I talked to one guy. Technology advances rapidly. From there we get steam power, alchemy, automatons. And this all happened... Like, a hundred years ago? Sure. Then there were a bunch of barbarians again. And then Sweden tried to unite the world under yellowism. Did it work? A little too well. Because then we ended up with global warming and acid rain. Kind of, you know, killed the vibe. What are things like now? Uh, basically a dystopia. What? Sorry, literally a dystopia. That's exactly how it was when I left! Ah, oh, damn. Well, uh, you know, could try, I guess. I'm gonna try again. Well, maybe you should- ah. How about now? We got space lasers. How about now? There's a rogue AI. How about now? World War Four. Well, when was three? I, I don't remember. There were barbarians. Right, how about now? Aliens showed up. Nice ones? Man, how do I always make things worse? What'd you even do in the first place? I told France they should be raiders. That would do it. I just wanted some decent coffee near the apartment. Oh, there's a great cafe right downstairs. Oh, awesome. Ta-da. Do you like Paradox and also Civilization? Because, boy, it's today your lucky day. Millennia is a new 4X strategy game where you can explore alternate routes through history by unlocking different ages. Based on your decisions and leading your custom nation, you could wind up in the mythical age of heroes or inventing steampunk technology. A bunch of crazy new stuff that you haven't seen before in other 4X games, but with familiar mechanics, so it's easy to get started. If you like this video and you want to get a copy, consider using our link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Pumpkin spice lattes year-round. Got it? You got like 6,000 years to figure it out. It's 1905.